My name's David Clark. I'm part of the Apprentice support team at Incolink, which supports apprentices both at work and outside of work in the commercial building industry. So it's my job to go out into TAFEs and present the suicide prevention program. The main aim of the life care program is to reduce the incidence of suicide in young men, uh, particularly young men in the building and construction industry. Because four times more males than females commit suicide each year in Australia and the most prominent category are young males aged 15 to 24, which is generally the age group of first year apprentices. The Life Care Program came about a number of years ago after a major piece of research that Incolink conducted, uh, which was looking at the major risk factors, the issues faced by young uh, men in the construction industry. Well, the Life Care Program started in 2007. We asked a couple of TAFEs if they would be interested in letting us come in and, and run a few. I wasn't aware I'd come from a domestic background um, in the trade, so I, um, I was just really astounded at the things that they and the sort of services they offered, such as counselling, advice to kids, it was terrific. What generally happens is we run a two to two and a half hour session with apprentices uh, within the TAFE colleges, uh, where we go through a whole range of the potential uh, risk factors that are around for apprentices, and we address each of those in turn, and subsequently discuss the supports that are out there if those apprentices were facing any of those issues. You know, show a bit of a movie, there's some fantastic little film clips that they've got to show the boys, there's a bit of wit, a bit of humour, but they're very engaging and that's why we like to get Incolink to come in because they do engage with our boys really well. It's about involving the apprentices in this learning. We, we use a narrative therapy approach. We uh, encourage the apprentices to, to tell their own stories. Uh, we attempt to create a, a safe and respectful uh, set of circumstances where the apprentices can feel comfortable to learn from, uh, from their peers uh, and have those conversations in a, in a kind of casual manner. One of the beauties of the life care program is that the presenters, the facilitators are able to speak to people on their level and what we find is that we have a lot of people approaching us because of this. Well they come in, they talk to the boys about drug and alcohol um, use and so forth which I, and, and they're real about it. that's the thing that I like about it. they're real blokes, they're coming in, they're telling a real story, they're not fudging things over, they're not saying everything will be okay, they're letting kids really know what are the consequences of their actions. From time to time we may need to get some specialist intervention so we refer the young person onto drug and alcohol workers, it may be psychologists, their GPs, if it's work related it may be back to their employers or their unions they're keen to talk to them and ask them questions which is sometimes a hard thing with young kids. The TAFE uh, coordinators and trade teachers are extremely supportive because they obviously really see real benefit uh, in the work that we do with their apprentices. Well I know that they're out on the field, um, you know they can be called to the building sites. Apart from our TAFE they're at every other TAFE I think in the 17 TAFEs around Melbourne. The life care program is statewide. We know that there is a great need rurally for these programs. Look, personally, I think the, the information we provide is crucial and it's certainly uh, an important, important program that we do. Well, I know a few guys that have had a few um, issues and with a bit of help along there, they seem to be back on track. We actually have a lot of clients coming back to us over the course of years sometimes. You know, I do know that it's a really hard time for a lot of these uh, young men and women in trades at this time. and and. It's just some sort of a support network for them. I do think Incolink, in a sense though, it's more probably aligned towards the tradesman person. They've got a, um, a little bit more understanding of the young tradie guys. But there's a need for it in every industry. Oh look, our students really relate to this because they're a good bunch of down to earth guys. And uh, yeah, look, I think it has to keep going this program, it's essential.